Here are some Java IDE improvements, including Git, Web and general improvements of Eclipse 202103. Improvements that have been added since the last release in December 2020, three months ago. Java 16 support is not yet built in, due to the Java 16 release date being only one day before the release of Eclipse. But you can install the current preview of the Java 16 support via the Eclipse Marketplace. Let's have a look at the improvements that have been built in. There are 16 new cleanup functions. They can improve readability, for example by using new language features or by removing unnecessary code, and they can improve performance. You can apply a set of cleanup functions to a single file, to one or more packages, or even to multiply projects in one go. Let's go quickly through the list of the 16 new cleanup functions. There are three functions to use new language and system library features in the new Java feature tab, two functions in the new source fixing tab, use them with care, they might alter the behavior of your code, two new code style functions, one function to remove duplicate code, and three functions to remove unnecessary code. And last but not least, five new functions to optimize your code for better performance. The three functions in the new Java feature tab that brings together cleanups to make use of new Java language features and new stuff provided by the system library are pattern matching, for instance, of requiring which requires Java 15 with preview features enabled. Use comparator comparing that can be used with Java 8 or higher. And use multi-catch for Java 7 or higher. The two functions in the new source fixing tab that might alter the behavior of your code are avoid object equals or string equals ignore case or null objects by swapping what is compared with what, so that the compare method is called on the object that cannot be null. Compare to zero instead of to one or to minus one, which is a common mistake. The two new code style functions are reduce indentation when possible by when the if branch contains a return, continue or break, pulling up what is contained in the else branch if needed, the if and else branches will be swapped by negating the if condition so that the cleanup can be applied. Extract increment decrement from statement, because that's easier to read, isn't it? The new function in the duplicate code tab is pull down common code from if else statement, which will be applied even here, because the incrementing of i was detected to be the same. That's cool, isn't it? The three new functions to remove unnecessary code are redundant string substring parameter, removes the second parameter if this is the length of the string, unreachable block, removes dead code, is valid, is just swapped with is found here, convert loop into if when possible. And last but not least, the five new optimization functions are Convert fields into local variables if the use is only local, which means the field is private, not final, does not have annotations, and its previous set value is never read. Make inner classes static where possible, when the inner class uses nothing from its outer class. Use string replace instead of string replace all when possible. For faster, at least in new Java versions, plain string replacing when no regular expression is used. Primitive comparison. This will also speed up your code and will require less memory. Primitive parsing. Like in primitive comparison, this avoids the creation of a primitive wrapper object. Apart from these cleanup functions, there are also new functions in the Java editor that are helpful while writing code. For expressions returning an auto-closable, there's a new quick assist, Control one available. Assign to new local variable in try with resources. That's the assign statement to new local variable. 
and surround with, try with resources block in one. Independent of which way you choose to surround auto-closable statements in a try with resources statement, in the case where the existing code catches or throws an exception that subclasses the exceptions that will be called, an additional catch clause will now be added to rethrow the more specific exception. There is a new quick fix, Control 1, for sealed classes. Sealed classes are a preview feature in Java 15. To create the missing permitted class or interface. The colouring of restricted identifiers like var can now be changed. In the preferences, Java, Editor, Syntax Colouring, select Java, Restricted identifiers and choose a different font colour and or style. There are also performance improvements. The Eclipse IDE 202103 starts a bit faster than previous versions. The Java search, type hierarchy and other things based on the Java index are sped up by the new parallel index search. Non-blocking Java code completion was introduced three releases ago. But in order to use it, all extensions had to be adapted first. In the Eclipse IDE for enterprise Java developers, it took a bit longer. But from now on, in all Java IDEs, the code completion is non-blocking, unless a plugin that you have installed prevents it. When this is the case, in Preferences, Java, Editor, Content Assist, Advanced, a greyed out warning is shown below that checkbox. Blocking means that the calculation of the code completion proposals blocks the UI from displaying already typed characters. In contrast with non-blocking code completion, even when you type quicker than it takes to calculate the proposals, the typed characters will be displayed without delay. And even if you don't notice it, it feels faster now, doesn't it? External null annotations can be used also for generated source code now. External annotations were introduced to add null annotations to non-editable library classes a long time ago. But when the regenerating overrides change is made, annotations cannot be added to generated source code either. For this purpose, external null annotations can now also be used for a source folder. Right-click the source folder that contains the generated code and choose Build Path. Configure Build Path. Select the External Annotation subnode and click Edit. Choose as workspace location the folder that should store the added annotations. In order to use external annotations, in Java Compiler, Errors Warnings, in the Null Analysis section, tick the checkbox Enable Annotation Based Null Analysis. And since, unfortunately, the system library does not contain null annotations, a null annotations library is required as well. Now, having done all that, we are ready to add a null annotation to the generated code. For example, to disallow null on this parameter here, navigate via F3 or control click to the declaration. In the declaration, select not the name, but the type and hit control 1. This gives you two options, to add the non-null or to add the nullable annotation, or, when an annotation has already been added, to remove it. The benefit from all this effort is that you will get an error that the parameter must not be null here.
or here when this method returns a non-null string, a dead code warning. Minor improvements have been made to trace and breakpoints. Trace points can now also be toggled via the editor ruler right click menu. And regular breakpoints can now be toggled, even when some of the selected methods are abstract. And in the breakpoints view, the right click menu contains the new item Disable All. In the console view, you can now, in the same way as the text editors, use Ctrl K to find the next occurrence of the currently selected string or next hit of your last find dialog query. Ctrl Shift K is for find previous. By the way, in the console view and the text editors, you can now scroll horizontally via Shift plus mouse wheel or via touchpad gestures. The Open Resource dialog Control shift r now also shows projects to show them in the Package or Project Explorer or in another view. In Launch Configurations in the Common tab there is a new checkbox Terminate Child Processes if terminating the launch process which is enabled for the same behavior as in previous Eclipse versions. When enabled, the child processes started by the launch configuration will be also terminated when you terminate the launch configuration. Otherwise, the child processes will keep running. In the Git support, signing has been improved in three ways. First, for signing an external GPG, instead of the built-in Bouncy Castle, Java Crypto Library can be used. This is helpful in cases where Bouncy Castle is not able to access the keys. In the Preferences, Version Control, Git, Committing, choose for signing external GPG. The field GPG executable can be left blank. It is only needed when the GPG executable cannot be found or to specify a special one. When the external GPG instead of Bouncy Castle library is chosen, the GPG executable can also be configured in the git config via the GPG program entry, which overrides the GPG executable field. Second, signatures can be verified now, which is disabled by default. To enable it, go to the Preferences, Git, History, and tick the checkbox Verify Signatures. Then you can see in the History view in the header of the revision comment whether it's a good or a bad signature. Third, also tags can be signed now, but not yet verified. In the Create a New Tag dialog, there is a new Create a Signed Annotated Tag checkbox for that. Ticking this checkbox will always result in annotated tags even with an empty message, since lightweight tags that have neither a message nor an author cannot be signed. The Properties view shows details of the tag selected in the Git Repositories view. When there is a tag target that refers to a commit and you have selected it, buttons are displayed to open the commit in the commit viewer and to show the commit in the history view. Cloning and fetching is now faster when the remote server supports the more efficient Git v2 protocol, which will now be tried to be used for that by default.
The embedded language servers supporting XML and web technologies have been updated, which brings, among other improvements, TypeScript 4.1 support. And in JavaScript files, navigation for C targets. The Eclipse IDE for JavaScript and web developers is no longer provided as part of this quarterly rolling release, but will likely be provided more frequently directly by the Eclipse Wild Web developer team. Go to github.com slash eclipse slash wildwebdeveloper and follow the link in the Get It Now section. These were some of the Java IDE improvements of the quarterly rolling release March 2021. If you've missed some versions, you might want to watch the previous videos too. Thanks for watching and happy coding!